Hello and we are in Kali Linux again. So in this video we will be learning how to get a bootable USB from Linux. So specifically Windows bootable USB because when I was doing this I know how hard this can be. There is a really cool tool called Ventoy. I covered this before but in most cases it gets the job done and it's really easy to set up. So here's our pen drive. So this is my pen drive or you can call USB stick or whatever you call it. So this is our USB stick and then you just have to go to Firefox, Chrome, Brave, whatever browser you use. Just get into that and then search for Ventoy. So this is the spelling Ventoy. Just type Ventoy and you should see the first link that says Ventoy.net. You can just click on this or in the downloads, it doesn't matter. Then you can just click on downloads. Then go to here and this is the version that we are looking for. If you are using Windows you would use this but we are using Linux so we will be using this one. So just click on this and then it will get you to a github page. So what we do here you just scroll down and just click on this version right here. So this is the zip version so tar.gz if you don't, didn't know is a form of compressed file. So we just have to wait for it to download. It shouldn't be that, that long it's a really small file. So there it is done. So I'll just click on here and it will open the file that it is in. So it's usually in uh, downloads and if you're using a terminal interface, it should be like CD download and then LS and there you go. It just shows Ventoy right here. Then you just have to extract it. You can do it from terminal or from uh, a user interface. If you're using it Linux, it should have a extract here option right here. Just click on that and there we go. So it just extract the file. And then scroll down as you can see there is a lot of file here but with the one we're looking for is this one which says ventoyweb.sh so just right click here and then click on open terminal here you can do it like this or if you are more like tech savvy or i mean you would like to use the terminal more just do cd downloads and then do cd uh, ventoy and that will do the same thing so whichever method you prefer but after you get here just do dot slash and this is important dot slash and then ventoy so just this tab ventoy sorry uh, web.sh there we go so ventoy web.sh this is the one we are looking for then after you click it so as you can see it says please use sudo or run the script as root because it requires the uh, requires the script to be run as root because it will open the web browser. So after you type in the password, and then as you can see, there is a bunch of thing here. Just this is the IP we want. So to open this from directly from the terminal, click on Control and then press on this link, and it should just open up the terminal. So I open up the web browser, and here is our Ventoy uh, user interface. So now uh, you can use here come in option select partition style and whichever partition style you use. So if you are an MBR user, click on MBR. If you use GPT, then just click on GPT. So what this will do is make sure your pen drive, pen drive can be booted from a GPT system, or if you used MBR, it will just make sure that you can boot in from an MBR system. It's easy enough. And then here you can see your pen drive. So if you, your pen drive shows up here, that means it's working. And after you have selected everything and make sure everything is okay, you can even do partition configuration. You don't have to go there. It will automatically partition it perfectly. And then uh, make sure you pen again, make sure your pen drive is empty and there is nothing on it or anything important on it, on it because well, again, it will format your pen drive. So now just hit install. And here you can see this device can it oh this device will be formatted and all the data will be lost so after you click ok it will like make sure we're doing a double check so that's a good thing so just to be sure and then there we go so ventoy has been successfully installed to the device so now that we have ventoy how do we use it so how the heck do we use it so you can just hit ctrl c to get out of this so let me just close this and as you can see there is two 
uh, drives here so one is called Vintoy, one is called Vintoy UFEI so you don't need this so just leave this alone you need the drive that is called Vintoy so whichever ISO you copy in here will be the ISO that you will get the prompt to boot into so give me a second and I'll put an ISO here I just copied an ISO so with this is a Windows 10 ISO and then what we have to do is just reboot our computer and boot into the USB so I'll see you guys after like booting into it not after booting I'll show you what to do when you boot into the USB so here we are now booting into the USB so just select the USB from your uh, boot menu then wait for it to boot get here and then just hit enter now remember you have to have secure boot disabled because if you have secure boot enabled it will cause issues so make sure you have secure boot disabled and i think i just, i will put a disclaimer in the beginning of the video just to like tell you guys that it should be disabled and then you can just continue on with the installation from there and it's really simple that's basically it. that's how you make a bootable usb in linux and if you like the video hit like and subscribe and i'll see you guys in a future video